I'm Sam coming through. <laughs> I'm shredding this. <laughs> Whoa! What a great day, Barbie. It's the perfect day for a walk in the park. <laughs> beep, beep. Hey, that slime nearly hit us. So rude. But he's got some pretty sweet moves. <laughs> yeah, I've got some mad teas. Whatever that means. Huh, anyone can do that. Give me that skateboard. Watch this. Oh, oh, see, it isn't so hard. I'm a natural. Uh, maybe you should slow down. No, do a trick next. Check this. Uh, no, no! Uh, get me out of here! Oh, wow! He knows how to put on a show. Are you okay? Help is on its way! Oh no, look at your arm! Uh, this looks really bad! We need to get you to the hospital! This isn't necessary, Barbie, I'm fine! Uh, you had a nasty fall! <clears throat> Can I help you? It's Ken. I think he broke his arm. I guess he needs skateboard lessons. <laughs> Doctor! Ooh, I heard someone needs my help. Come this way. Mm, this is so annoying. It'll be okay, Ken. My first ever victim. I, I mean, patient. Don't worry. You're in safe hands. I'll need to examine you. <clears throat> Hold still. I'll start with your temperature. Check this out. I use it to take the temperature of my pizza. Hmm. Very interesting. Now I'll listen to your heart. But doctor, it's his arm. He fell off a skateboard, remember? It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I've been practicing on my teddy bears. <laughs> Tickles. <laughs> hey, hold still. Knock it off, doctor. Hey, can you hear me? Doctor! <laughs> my ears! Why are you shouting? Shatter me! Hmm, maybe I should examine your ears. Okay, hold still. I really hope he cleaned his ears before this. There is only one way to find. Huh? Is that normal? I'll need to give you an injection. Here we go. Beetle? Oh no. Oh. Barbie? Oh. Leave me be. Oh. Holy cannoli. Now I have two patients. What a day. This might hurt. Ouch. Actually, it will. Wait, was that the medicine or the super serum? Ah, meh. Are you okay, Barbie? I was so worried. Oh, Ken, you're here. I'll always look after you. Oh, that's the zip bag. All right, these are for you, Barbie. Thanks, Dr. Sam. Um, what about me? Aha, uh -huh. I'm glad you asked. You really hurt your arm. Oof, this six ray looks really bad. I've never seen anything like it. But I have just the thing. These will help you feel better. Wow, thanks, Doc. Hmm, but we still have to fix that arm. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Wait, what? <laughs> gotcha. I'm kidding. It just needs a band-aid, silly. <laughs> you were so scared. This won't take long. My work here is done. Now let's see what you owe me. Uh -huh. What do I owe you? What? This is my favorite part. Barbie. Oh, Ken, you look so much better. I'm never skateboarding again. I'll stick to skydiving. Come on, let's get out of here. There's the small matter of payment. Dr. Sam gave you the premium service. So you owe... $5,000? I don't believe it. You... Fine. Take the money. <laughs> I'm rich. Woohoo! I'm going on vacation. Gotta go. I've got a flight to catch. La, 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 la. So that was Sam's hospital. He can look after me when I'm sick. Oh, Sue, I need more medical supplies. I've got more patients waiting. <laughs> okay, Sam, you can count on me. I guess I'm Sam's new nurse. I'll need to flatten this modeling clay. I'll use this ruler to cut a piece off. Sam can deal with the patients. This is the fun part. Hmm, I'll need to round the edges. This is going to be a medical bag. Sam can hold all his equipment in it. Want to help, Sam? Crafting or patience? Hmm, crafting always wins. Nice work, Sammy. This can go on the bag. But I'm not done yet. Sam will need to carry the bag. So it's going to need straps. Wow, this looks so stylish. It would be the perfect accessory for a new dress. Sue, help! I can't stop! Get this off me! <laughs> oh, I've never been silent for so long! <laughs> I was wondering why it was so quiet. There, the medical bag is finished. Just in time. One of my teddies has eaten too much honey. It's a 
a sticky situation, you know? Oh no, I hope it's okay. I'm sure you'll look after it. I've lost my stethoscope! Can you make me one? Of course I can. A doctor needs a stethoscope. It's a vital piece of equipment. I'll just roll out this modeling clay. I could get used to this. That looks about right. Now I'll twist it like a pretzel. Did someone say pretzel? Anyway, Sue, I got this to show how much I care. Don't ask where it came from. Aw, oh, that's so sweet, Sam. Hmm, I can definitely use this. It is so soft and squishy. I'm sure Sam won't mind. It's for his stethoscope after all. I know he's going to love it. And he'll be helping so many patients. No, that isn't what's for me. So I became a pirate. Yeah, oh, oh. Really? Wow. Uh, it might have been a dream. <laughs> it sounds like quite the adventure. Your stethoscope is nearly finished. I just need to stick the pieces together. Oh, I almost forgot this part. That could have been embarrassing. Sam's hospital prides itself on its high standards. It's ready, Sammy. Come here. Perfect, Sue. It's just what I need. Look at it. Oh, no. I've got another patient. Life as a pirate was so much easier. I miss the open seas. <laughs> the patients will need medicine. And I know what to make next. Is it a cake? Are you going to make a cake? I'm so hungry. <laughs> no, it's not a cake. Mm, but that does sound good. You'll need something to make people feel better. So, I'll make you a syringe. But this one will be made from modeling clay. It looks good, but something's missing. <laughs> Aha! I know! You'll need the exact amount of medicine. So, I'll draw measurements on the side. You know, this is cute. What do you think, Sam? It's pointy, huh? Ew, that's one large needle. Keep it away from me. Don't be scared. Dodge and move. Dodge and move. You're one quick bundle of slime. Stop it, Sue. I'm a serious medical professional. <laughs> okay, Sam. I suppose I better get back to work. Sam will need to examine the patients and make sure they don't have a fever. He'll need a thermometer to do that. I need to shape this modeling clay into a point. You know, being a nurse is fun. I get to help Sam and make crafts. This thermometer needs to be high tech, so I'll add a digital display. Well, I'll use a pen, but Sam will never know. Sam, wanna test this out? Sure, but I'm a specimen of peak physical fitness. Scientists think I'm a medical marvel. Uh, I think you're ill. What? How? You gotta help me, Sue. It's okay, Sam. I'm right here. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to me. Nice acting. But you're still ill. You'll need to take medicine. Nurse Sue's orders. They'll help you feel like your normal slime self. Here you go. Uh, huh? Hmm. I think I'd prefer a candy bar. I'm going to raid the fridge. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> While Sam is having a snack, I'll finish making the medicine. I'll use pink and blue clay for this. Hmm, I think these are too big for medicine. I need to make them smaller. Then I'll need to cut them up. This is the perfect size. Dr. Sam will be helping all his patients. I'll join the pieces together. Hmm, we'll need a lot more than this. That's more like it. Sam! Oh, I'm feeling better. Turns out I was just hungry. Whoops, my patience! And I better make more equipment. I know what to do next. Dr. Sam is thorough in his examinations. And he likes looking in ears. Although that seems pretty gross, it's got to be done. And this little gadget will do the job. I'll add the finishing touches to it. Now Sam can look in all the ears he wants. Come here, Sammy. Stin, 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 sha -la -la. I'll examine your ears. Uh, what the? No way. The only thing in there is slime. <laughs> That's okay, Sam. I believe you. I need to squash this clay. Oh, this feels good. 
That's just how I want it. This is going to be Sam's face mask. I don't want him catching any germs. I need it to be the perfect fit. Let's stack the pieces on top of each other. I want this to look like the real thing. I'll borrow Sam's nail brush for this part. Okay, where was I? This is looking great, but something is missing. Friends, any guess? It needs ear loops. There, that's more like it. Your face mask is finished, Sam. Just in time! One of my patients has been eating garlic! Yuck! I'm ready! <laughs> I'm glad you're not a vampire! So, there's one more thing that we need to make. Check this out! Lots of band-aids! We need to heal all those cuts and bruises! Especially if Ken decides to go skateboarding again! They look good, but I can make them better! Ah, <sighs> This has been a long day! I need band-aids! Start! I'm really nailing this medical lingo! <laughs> I've got them right here! Thanks, Sue! You are the best! You always help me! Aw, oh, that's nice to hear, Sam! Let's go! Na, na, na. It's been another busy day in Sam's hospital. But thanks to all this, we healed every single patient. Great! Oh, I love it here in Hong Kong. I've had such a fantastic time. Oh, the maker phone's ringing. Excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. Oh, it's Minute Mate time in Australia. Oh, thanks, Toki. I'm on my way. Oh, here we go. It's Minute Mate time, everyone! <laughs> Smile, everybody! Oh, yeah! Oh, that's a nice photo. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Now, today, Mini Makers, we're going to make this. It's a junk camera. It's only a pretend camera, but it's lots of fun. And we can make it by using these things. We've got some paper, a small box, a glue stick, a foil pie case, some plastic lids, a piece of ribbon, some stickers, and some sticky tape. Now, do you think it's possible to make this junk camera in just one minute? Oh, me silly! Me silly? I don't think so. Now, I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Got the cork! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our box and we're going to wrap it in the paper like this. Let's fix it in place with sticky tape. There we go. And then turn it over. Now let's get our stickers and we're going to put our stickers on the front here to make the buttons. And if you haven't got stickers, don't worry. You could always use some felt-tip pens and draw on the buttons. Here we go, let's have another button there. Oh, that looks nice. Right now, let's get our foil case and some glue. And we're going to put some glue on the back there, like that, and then stick it on to the front of the camera. Let's get this lid here. This is going to be the lens of the camera. Let's stick it on. There we go. Now, if we put it up, it's starting to take shape. Let's get some ribbon and a bit of sticky tape there on the side and stick this to the side there like that. Oh, that's going to look nice. And then last but not least, we get this last lid, put some glue on, that's going to be the button, and you can take a picture! Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try these other ideas too. How about this pink camera with a paper cup lens and glittery sticky buttons? Or you could make a yellow camera using two boxes and fun foam details. 
Or what about this really big camera with a cardboard tube lens and lots of plastic bottle tops? A junk camera made in just a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Tape a strip of paper around a small box. Add stickers for buttons. And a foil pie case and a plastic lid for a lens. Stick a loop of ribbon on the side. And another plastic lid on top for a button. Your junk camera is finished and ready to play with. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Thanks for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! <laughs> oh, what's this? It's a Minnie Maker postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. <laughs> Hello, Mr Maker. I'm Ben and I made a racing car. First, I got lots of pieces of wood and I glued it all together. I painted it out of blue paint. I used some stickers to make the person. My car gone vroom, vroom, vroom. I hope you like it. Hello, Mr. Maker. Uh, I made a picture for you. I drew lots of butterflies and I colored it with felt tip. I used felt tip and crayon and pencil. And I hope you like my picture. Oh, what lovely ideas. Why don't you try some of those today? <laughs> oh, oh, the maker phone's ringing. Excuse me. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Hello, Mr. Maker. My name's Samuel, and I'm from South Africa. And these are my friends. Can you help us make a picture? What a lovely idea. I'll see you for a high five in five, four. <laughs> I made it! I told you I would. Right, let's get some high fives. What picture would you like to make today? Chameleon. A chameleon picture. Great idea. What does a chameleon look like? He's got a long curly tail. Yes, a very long tail. It's got a long tongue. A long tongue, like this. <laughs> now, chameleons are very clever. What is it that they can do? It can change it colours. Are you sure? Yes. Well, why? So you can't see it. I think we're ready, aren't we, everyone? Yes. Let's make it together. We are making the leaves. Finished. These are the chameleon's legs. This is its body. And we'll need a nice colourful background. That's it, let's put our chameleon up. That's it. We're having great fun making our big picture. And that's just giving me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making your own little cute and colourful chameleon. It's great fun to play with. You will need sticky tape and scissors, kitchen foil and bubble wrap, paint and paint brushes, glue and some stickers, coloured paper, a pen and a pipe cleaner. First, make a ball shape from some kitchen foil for the chameleon's head. Then, shape some foil into an arch for the body. and mould some more foil into a sausage shape for the tail. Next, tape them all together like this. Now cover your chameleon in some bubble wrap. Tape it down as you go, making sure that it's nice and tight. When your chameleon is covered, bend the tail into a curl shape like this. Add a squirt of gloopy PVA glue to each of your paint colours and give them a stir. 
Then paint your chameleon in different colours. And leave it to dry. Next, fold a piece of paper in half and draw two leg shapes starting at the fold, like this. Then carefully cut them out. Unfold them and take them to the body. Draw black dots on stickers for eyes. And lastly, take the pipe cleaner, give it a curl at one end, and carefully push the other end through the bubble wrap to make a tongue. Your very own chameleon is finished and ready to play with. What a lovely idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's see how our colourful chameleon picture's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, everyone! We made it together! Yay! Those chameleons look fantastic! And hungry! Wow! We have seen some incredible sights today on our arty adventures. Remember, wherever you are in the world, get making! <laughs> oh, excuse me. My phone. Oh, it's Toki. Yeah. Hello. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. Oh, well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous maker case back in its box. <laughs> It's so much fun travelling the world, you never know when you're going to meet new friends. Hello, you guys. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, the maker phone's ringing. <gasps> it's Toki. Yeah. It's minute make time in South Africa. Oh, thanks, Toki. <laughs> That's right, my friends, and today we're going to make something that's really, really spooky! <laughs> it's this frightening finger pen, but it's not just spooky, it's really useful as well. Watch, it's a real working pen! Now, we can make one of these fantastic frightening finger pens by using these arty things. We've got a pencil, a pen, and a scrap of paper or card. This scrap is in the shape of a teardrop. We'll also need some green air drying clay. Now you can find this in an art and craft shop, but today, to save time, I'm going to order some on my maker phone. Right, here we go. Oh, yes, green air drying clay. Right, add to cart. Oh! That was quick. <laughs> Let's have a look, see what we've got inside. Oh, perfect. Look, everyone. It's some green air drying clay. Now, don't worry if your air drying clay isn't green, because actually you can use whatever colour you like. Now, we've got everything we need, but do you think it's possible to make this frightening finger pen in just one minute? Don't be silly! Be silly? I don't think so, but I will have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Brilliant! Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get our air drying clay and we're going to squish the pen into it like this, making sure that we leave the nib outside like that. And then we're going to squeeze the clay all around it like this, into the shape of a very spooky finger like that. Round and round it goes like this. It's very bobbly and you can make it any shape you like and it can 
be really, really fun if you use a pencil like this to make some wiggly lines like this and some wiggly lines there, here we go, in the middle and some wiggly lines at the back like that. There we go, and you can even make some dots as well. There we go, and if you get a ball of air drying clay, you can roll it like this to make a wart to go on your finger as well, and just squidge that on. And last but not least, you stick on your scrap of paper and you've made a frightening finger pen. Yeah! <laughs> I did it just in time. But if you've got more than a minute, you could leave your frightening finger pen to dry and paint it. And you could even try these other ideas too. How about this gorgeous, glamorous finger with a plastic jewel ring and a bright red nail? Or you could even make a weird werewolf finger with a nasty brown nail and fun fair. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cover a pen with air drying clay, making sure you don't cover the nib end. Make wiggly lines with a pencil. Add a wart with a small lump of clay. Stick on a scrap of paper for a nail. And your frightening finger pen is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Thank you so much, my friends, for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? It's a Mini Maker postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. Hello, my name is João Pedro, and I do a helicopter for you, Mr. Maker. I use paper, and I use bicycles, I do a propeller and wind. I hope you like my helicopter, Mr. Maker. Hello, my name's Trinity, and I made a picture for you. Is a some made out pipe cleaners, and a rainbow made out pipe cleaners, and a bird made out feathers. Do you like my picture, Mr. Maker? Oh, what fantastic ideas. Why don't you try one of them at home? <laughs> oh, excuse me. The maker phone's ringing. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Elise from the UK, and these are my friends. Hello, mini makers. Please, can you help us make a picture? Oh, I'd love to. I'll be with you for a high five in five. Four, three, two, one. We're in the UK. Oh, I made it. I told you I would, Mini Makers. Let's get some high five. Excellent. Nice. What picture would you like to make? Snow. A snowy picture. That sounds like a great idea. Now, what's going to be in our snowy picture? Trees of snow on. So, is it going to be quite cold in our picture? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cold. And what else should we have in our picture? A house with snow on. Lovely. A reindeer. A reindeer? Brilliant. I think we're ready, aren't we? Yeah! Let's make it together. These are the mountains. And this is the snow. <laughs> this is the log cabin. And we need a nice blue sky. We're having great fun making our big picture. And that's just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making your own little log cabin. It's great fun to make. You will need corrugated card and a pen, a clean empty juice carton, coloured card and a glue stick, a plastic or paper plate and stickers, and some scissors. First, find some corrugated card with grooves running across it. Turn the card over and place the closed carton onto the card. Draw around the pointy side first, and then the other side, like this. Do this again underneath so that you have two of each shape and carefully cut them out. 
Now, glue the shapes onto the carton like this. Stick on a card door and a window and a folded piece of card for a roof. Next, glue the log cabin onto an upside down plate. Then decorate everything with coloured stickers however you like. Your log cabin is finished and ready to play with. What a great idea! Why don't you try it? But right now, look! The mini makers are building a house. Very good. Good work. Oh, well done. Good chimney. Oh, well done, everyone. We, we made it together. together. Yay! What a brilliant snowy picture. But it looks pretty chilly. Wow. What an exciting arty adventure we've had today. Remember, wherever you are in the world, keep making. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. Ah! Time to go. Time to go. Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. Well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous maker case back in its box. <laughs> I'm going to look round and make some new friends. Actually, I'm going to high five Hong Kong! <laughs> oh, Hong Kong is so friendly. I've had so many high fives. And they've just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try using your hands to make some scrunched hand art. What a handy idea. Let's make it. Here we go. We'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hi, Mr. Maker. I'm Cecilia. Oh, hello, Cecilia. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, we'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, great. Cecilia is on her way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some scrap paper or card, some scrunched paper, some paint, some scissors, some paint brushes, and we'll also need, of course, my smelly socks. <laughs> My smelly socks? Scraps? How did you get here? Look, we don't need my smelly socks. Not that these are my smelly socks. <laughs> Honest. Look, Scraps, take these socks back and can you find me a pen as well, please? Go on, off you go. Ah, here we are, Scraps. Thank you very much, my friend. Just what we need. Bye. We've got a pen. Right, we've got everything we need. Although, it does feel like something's missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? Um, um. I'm here, Mr. Maker. Of course, Cecilia, it's you. High five. And again. Excellent. We're ready to make our picture. It's scrunched hand art. Lovely. Are you ready, Cecilia? Yes. Excellent. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, this can get 
very, very messy. So it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And Cecilia, I think we should put on some aprons. So follow me. <laughs> now we need to use our hands. Are your hands ready? Excellent. We also need some scrap paper or card. And can you take a pen, please, Cecilia? And I'm going to ask you to very carefully draw around my hand. That's it. Well done, Cecilia. That looks great. And now we need to cut it out. But we must be careful with scissors because they are... Sharp. That's right. <laughs> Our cutout hand is ready. Let's put that to one side because we need some scrunched up paper. You can use whatever type of paper you like, but the more scrunched up, the better. Now, where's my card hand? Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Place the hand anywhere you like on the paper and get ready to start painting. So, Cecilia, which colour of paint should we use first? I think we should use purple first. Good idea. Let's get painting. Just dab the paint around the edge of the hand like this. Now, if I take off the card hand... Cool. <laughs> now we can use a different colour of paint. It's a good idea to use dark and light colours. So which colour of paint should we use next? Yellow. Yellow. Good idea, Cecilia and try to use a clean brush for each colour. Carry on painting lots of hands in lots of different colours. Then leave it to dry. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. we finished. It's some super scrunched hand art. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could try making these colourful dinosaurs and paint them in all different directions. <laughs> or how about some autumn leaves on some scrunched yellow paper? Or you could even try silver moon and star shapes in a pink scrunch sky. Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for helping me, Cecilia. We, we made, made it. it! There we go. What a handy piece of art. Well done, Cecilia. Bye. That over there, Maker Bear, is Kowloon. Yes, that's right. Do it... you hear that noise? It's, it's coming from the marvellous Maker Case. It's the shapes. <laughs> They're off on their journey around the world. I am a shape. Circle. I am a triangle. I am a square. I am a rectangle. How many squares can you see? One, two, three, four. <laughs> yes, there are four squares. Well done, shapes. It's time to get back in the marvelous maker case. <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing Zomber Geek again? Well, yes, can't I? You've played it so many times already. Aren't you bored? How can I get bored with a zombie game? Don't you know how popular this game is? 
Our video review of this game got over 1 million views! It's so cool! Give a thumbs up if you've seen our video review! That certainly is cool! Isn't it a motive to make another game review? Which game? Well, for example, Plants vs. Zombies! Huh, a moment… Here! Ah, uh, I don't get it. We shouldn't make a review of the Plants vs. Zombie game. We should make a Plants vs. Zombies game from cardboard! Well, we can do that. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today… Huh? What, what, what's that? It's a motor, Sammy. And wires. What are they for? To get our game running. <laughs> You'll see. Hi! Today's project includes working with wires, so make sure to ask an adult to help you. No, no, no. I'm not going to work with wires. I, I'm a slime, not an electrician. Fine, fine. Then you'll make the game characters. Zombies? Yes, zombies. Let me show you how to assemble one character, and you'll make the rest yourself. Yes, I'm ready. You can start. OK, so first you need to attach the template to a piece of cardboard and carefully cut the part along the template. There are many curves here, so be very careful and keep your fingers safe. I'm going to keep my whole self safe when I cut something, just in case. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Here's the part we've made. Now, we need to roll it. Let's carefully apply two drops of glue and attach pieces of straw inside. One and two. And close the piece tight. There. We need to apply some cardboard glue on top to make the piece sturdier. That's right. We want to play this game many, many times. Next, we'll need these two sticks. Let's insert one stick into the straws and insert the thin stick into the opening. Oh, no! It's an accident, honest! Oh, I thought you were watching attentively! I am! I just saw the rubber band and blacked out! Well, I hope you noticed how I attached the rubber band. This is the finished piece. We only need to attach the picture of a character. Rawr. So bright! I don't know if I can shoot it. Well, if you don't want your brains to be eaten, then you'll have to. And… There. That's how you do it. See? Yes, ma'am. Then take all the materials and go. To keep you entertained while we're working on our cardboard game, I'll ask you questions about zombies. The answers will be at the end of the video. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They will. <laughs> Question number one. Which zombie movie is considered to be the inspiration for all other zombie movies? Pause the video and write your answer. Actually, there are many zombie movies. Hundreds of movies and TV series about these creatures. I'm a bit scared to watch them. What about you guys? Do you watch zombie movies? Hey, Sam, what are you doing here? You should be making game characters. Oopsie. <laughs> And meanwhile, <laughs> I made the base for the shooter, which we will use to shoot zombies down and keep them from getting to the finish. I only need to glue the cardboard walls. And while you're gluing the walls, I'll ask another question. All right. What's the name of a series of movies which stars Mila Jovovich? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Shh, the answers will be at the end. Oh, right. And I only need to decorate the shooter now. Done! Just like the game! Wait, are we going to be on the side of plants? Yes, is there something wrong? No, no, it's fine. Let me show you how it works. I'll insert magnets. And... Phew! Phew! <laughs> it's more than fine, it's awesome! I'm off to make all the game characters. Pieces are rather large. There's more space here. Ah, got everything. Uh, yes, I can continue. I'll use these pieces to assemble the base for the whole game. Let's call it the game box because it'll look just like a box. But besides the side walls, our game box will have additional pieces inside. So many pieces. I'm using so much glue. I keep changing glue sticks one after the other. I don't need to change anything to ask question number three. Which country has a law that forbids turning people into zombies? Uh, is that really a thing? Do you think one can turn people into zombies without punishment? Uh, no, of course not. That's right. Well, think about it and I'll continue my work. Two more questions are left. Guys, do you want to learn the answers to Sam's questions? Then watch the video till the end. 
especially since we're going to show you how to play this game. Let's grab the motor and the wires. We need to set the motor in place. Without it, the game just won't work. It's a very important part. And this support will hold the mechanism for starting the game. I only need to add a stick. There. Now the wires. I've made several notches to let the wires through. And now here comes a crucial moment. Let's connect all the wires. Go on, connect them, and I'll talk to the viewers and ask another interesting question. What's the name of the most well-known zombie flash mob which takes place all over the world each year? Zombie flash mob? Sounds eerie. Don't worry, Susie. It's not with real zombies, just people in zombie costumes. Phew, what a relief. How's it coming? Here? All's good. And what about you? Did you make all the zombie characters? One, two, three, well, just a couple left. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you've got more than a couple left. Well, no. Besides, I need to ask the last question. First, finish making the characters, and then you can ask the question. Fine. And I'll attach this piece. I need to insert a coin here to start the game. It makes it look like a real game. See? Let's attach it to its place. And now, I need to pull up all the threads and wires. And set the front panel. The coin slot will stick out from here. Okay, let's check if it works. I'll insert the coin and pull the thread. Great! We only need one coin for this game. Fifth question! Oh! Phew, why are you trying to scare me, Sam? Sorry, I just really wanted to ask the question. Ask away. What is considered to be the most desired food for zombies? Oh, that's easy. It's shh. Let our viewers write it. Well, no, I'm satisfied. I'll go finish making the characters. Go on, we'll need them very soon. Right, most of the machine is done. Now let's take these circles and parchment and hop! We get these two pieces. Let's insert them into our machine. Carefully now. I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> they spin so well! I made the pattern with hot glue. Now I'll add a few more pieces. One and two. And now... Zombie! <laughs> no, Sam, too early! Uh. It's electricity time! Oh, that's interesting. If you're interested, watch. I need to attach that small mechanism to the side of the game. I'll place it onto the cardboard ledge. I never thought I'd be making cardboard ledges. <laughs> this is fun. And there you go. Nice and slow. <laughs> and add a few drops of glue to make sure it stays in place. I don't want it to fall off at a crucial moment. Now let's connect all these wires to the batteries. It's important to watch out for polarity. Is polarity the minus and plus which are usually shown on batteries? Yes, that's right. I'm glad you remember these things. Sure, I remember lots of things, but sometimes they hide so deep it's hard to get them out. So deep like that Tibidabo Lake. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. What do you need these rubber bands for? I need to fix them to the board for the game finale. I'll let the rubber bands through here and secure them with glue. Just a bit left. Then it's time to give the answers to my zombie questions. All right, and I'll add some finishing touches to our game. So, the answer to the first question, the movie that became the inspiration for all other zombie movies is The Night of the Living Dead. The answer to the second question, a series of movies that stars Mila Jovovich is Resident Evil. The answer to the third question, the country where the law forbids to turn people into zombies is Haiti. The answer to the fourth question, the most well-known zombie flash mob is called Zombie Walk. And the answer to the fifth question, the most desired zombie food is human brain. That's right! Guys, I applaud everyone who answered all five questions without consulting anyone. You're real experts on the zombie culture. While Sam was giving the answers to his questions, I finished these pieces. They are necessary to stop the game. Look, one wire is connected to the stick and the second one to a piece of metal. If the stick touches the metal, the game stops. See? Is it finished yet? Almost. Bring all the characters you made. A moment. And I'll attach clear plastic film here. It'll help our zombies to move forward. 
I'll secure it with clear tape. Oh, one more piece left to glue. Now that all the decorative pieces are in place, we'll attach the shooter. I'll poke the cardboard wall with some sticks glued together. And then I'll pull the stick through the handle of the shooter. And cut off the excess. Boom. Here are all the zombies! Oh, great! Let's place them on the board. And no rushing through this stage. If the characters aren't placed right, it'll be harder to shoot them. Can we play? Can we? Can we? Can we? There's one last piece left. We need to mark the finish. Sure, it's not that interesting without the finish. From the computer straight to cardboard, we made the game 3D! Yay! I can't wait to play! Let's do it! The shooter is charged, and the coin is in. The zombies are coming! Oh no! I aim, and… You got this, Sue! Pew! Pew! Ah, pew. Yeah. <laughs> Back, zombies! You won't take my brain! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh, come on! Here we go, and... Oh! Uh. Lost. Okay, one more time. In you go. And zombies, beware! I'm gonna get you all! Yeah. And... Pew! Go, Sue! Pew! Pew! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no, here he comes! And take that! Oh, guys, I can see the big zombie and get out of here. That's how you do it. That's it, Sue. You can put Zomber Geek away. Now this is my favorite game. <laughs> well, I won't put it too far away in case you want some variety. Hey, guys, did you like this game? Give a thumbs up if you did. And if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, we'll make another zombie video. Bye-bye. Watch yourself and show your friend. And subscribe to the channel not to miss any new videos. for an arty party, we're in the party pad! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! Yeah! All right then, my friends, are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! Here we go! Gotta have a party and look you are invited to shapes and squares. Be so excited, all the mini makers are partying too. But most importantly, we invite you. Are you ready? It's great to see you, my friend. <laughs> now, what shall we make our party about today? Um, hmm, you ever think about it? Have you got any ideas? 
OK, Mini Makers, over you come, my friends. Now, look at the screen. We're going to show you some clues, see if you can guess what our party's going to be about today. Yeah. What can you see? Zigzags, that's right. And I'll give you one last clue, Mini Makers. Look. Look, everyone. What are they? Pattern socks. That's right. So today, our party is going to be about... Patterns! Yay! <laughs> wow, Scraps, look at you. Mm. Nice patterned mm. outfit. Mm. <laughs> Don't we look mm. smart? Mm. Move over a bit, Scraps. Perfect. <laughs> so, my friends, we're going to make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Paper. What type of paper could we use? Wrapping paper. What sort of patterns will we use? Zigzags. Spots. Stripes. Well done, Mini Maker. Some fantastic ideas there. And in fact, it's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get arty at our party and make a magnificent mountain range using lots of colourful patterned paper for a brilliant effect. But first, we'll need some things from... The Doodle Tree! That's right! <laughs> we'll need some coloured card and scraps of patterned wrapping paper. Patterned gift box. <laughs> Very funny, Doodle Chew. And we'll need a glue stick. OK, Mini Makers, let's get started. Now, first up, let's bring in this nice light blue card for the background of our picture. And now, Mini Makers, we're going to tear out some triangles from our patterned wrapping paper. We've got lots of nice colours there. Let's start off with this nice blue patterned paper. Yeah, that's a nice one to start with. I'm going to put my triangles over here. Keep going until you've made lots of triangle shapes from different pieces of patterned paper. And now we can tear out some different shapes. We could even tear some rolling hills for our picture. I'm going to use green for this, first of all. And I'm going to tear a curvy shape like this. Oh, yes, very nice. One last colour now. Alfie, should we go for this one? Yes. Here we go. We've got lots of mountains and rolling hills. It's time to glue them down. Oliver, if you could pass me the first mountain. Thank you. And let's stick it down. That looks nice. Right, Abby, where should we put the next one? Good idea, my friend. Let's stick it down. Now, let's stick down the rest of our mountains and hills. Don't worry if the edges of your hills hang over the edge of the paper. You can always trim them off with some scissors. Like this. Looks good, but it needs a finishing touch. Here comes the sun. There, Mini Makers, do you like this picture? Yeah! Well, I'm glad that you like it, because now it's your turn to make your own arty party picture. But first, you've got to put on your... Oh, it's time to start the part! This picture looks like a colourful countryside. Ewan, what have we got in the middle there? A hill. A hill with some nice green triangles on it. 
And here, this isn't just an ordinary mountain, because it's a... Spotty mountain. A spotty mountain! You and I love it. And it makes me wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty pattern ideas? Let's find out. William Morris lived in England over a hundred years ago. He was very creative and made all sorts of wonderful things, including furniture, stained glass windows and colourful cloth. <laughs> That's enough for now. What I need is some fresh air. <laughs> Oh, this is the life! Some people think that one day, when William was admiring the roses in his garden... Oh, the roses smell wonderful this year! <laughs> he had a brilliant idea. That's it! A trellis! It's given me a brilliant idea! A trellis is a crisscross wooden frame used to support plants and flowers. Ha <laughs> ha! And using a rose trellis design, he started to create his first ever wallpaper pattern. But he felt there was something missing. That's it! Birds! He asked a friend to help him add them to the finished repeat pattern that looked like this. His wallpaper designs were very popular, and he created lots of different types, including flowers, plants, fruit, and more birds. Another repeated pattern, another bird. But time flies when you're having fun. Ha! Phew! What I need is some more fresh air. Ha! William Morris became world famous for his many fabric and wallpaper pattern designs. Oh, you could say it's the sweet smell of success. <laughs> Good old William Morris. I think you can safely say that there was a pattern emerging there, don't you? <laughs> now let's see how the Mini Makers are getting on. What have you made, Brandon? A really colourful forest. Well, it is very colourful indeed, and it's got lots of patterns on the trees. What patterns have you used? Stars. Diamonds, dots, zigzags and triangles. Wow, fantastic! Lots and lots of perfect patterns. <laughs> Megan, your mountains have got so many different patterns in them. And what pattern have you got in the sea? Stars. Some stars in the wavy sea. <laughs> Amy, tell me, what's this here? It's a path that leads up to a little house in the woods. Oh, very nice. A special little house. And what's this above the mountains? I have some birds and a big golden sun. A very shiny sun. Well done, Amy. It's a lovely picture. But I can hear snoring. It sounds like someone's asleep at our party. Who is it, everyone? <laughs> That's right, it's the shapes, and I think we should wake them up. So after three, ready? One, two, three. Wake Circle. Spin around, spin around, in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air, triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am Yay! a triangle. What are the triangles making? Can you guess? That's 
right, it's a tiger. That was fantastic, Triangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Yay! <laughs> to make a pattern picture like this, choose any three colours of chalk and stick them together using sticky tape. Then, on some paper or card, draw lines around the edge to make a border. Next, draw a line across the middle. And finally, fill in all the gaps with patterns. What a fantastic picture! Well done, Scraps! And you can make any sort of pattern picture you like. OK, Alfie, let's have a look at your picture. What colours have you used there, Alfie? I used purple, green, yellow and orange. What a perfect pattern. Well done, Alfie. What pattern have you made, Abby? I've made a checkered pattern. Oh, it's very nice. Lots and lots of squares. And how did you make these lines here? I strapped two pieces of chalk together to make the lines. Very nice. What a great effect. What a colourful pattern here made by Charisse. Now, what colours have you used? I used red and yellow and green and purple. Charisse, you've made a perfect pattern. Well done, Mini Makers. And right now, follow me. Come on, everyone. This way. Come on, over you come. Well done, Mini Makers. Now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? Do you think it could be? It's a pair of socks! That's right, you made a super pair of socks. And that noise is super too, because it means it's time for... A party party game! Over to Party Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go. It's Jessica! Yay! Brilliant! Who's next? Off you go. Fletcher! Yay! Who's last but not least? Let's find out. It's Jess! Yay! Well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! Today's game is called Lining Up the Apples and Pears and lots of other fruit too. Mini Makers, your arty challenge is to make a fantastic fruit print picture like this one here, but you're going to make a really big one. You're going to paint your picture on these colourful squares and you're going to do it using these fruity printers like this and you're going to use lots and lots of paint. This is going to get a little bit messy, so that's why our mini makers are wearing their arty party suits. So then, Jess, Fletcher and Jessica, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you're going to have to be very quick. You've got to finish your picture before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Up 
you go, Mini Makers. Let's get printing. And walk down. That's it. <laughs> oh, it's looking great, Mini Makers. Well done. That's it. Well done. Oh, very nice, Fletcher. Oh, very good. Well done, Jess. You can reload now if you like. And one more strawberry. Careful. Go on. <laughs> yes, that's it. You did it. Yay. Well done, my friends. Look at that. It's a fantastic fruit print picture. That was brilliant. But now it's time to tidy up. Go on, Mini Makers, you get started. We've had a great arty party today. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun with patterns making torn paper pattern pictures and chalk patterns. We found out how William Morris made patterned wallpaper and we printed giant fruit patterns in our arty party game. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun just <laughs> Yes, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye!